Hello, welcome to Monday Moment. We are going to take a look at your palm branches that you got yesterday from Palm Sunday, and we're gonna do something pretty cool with them. So, gather up those palms. If you do not have your palm branch, that's okay. Run out to the backyard or front yard and grab yourself a pretty cool looking leaf or um, blades of grass that you want. Uh, it needs to be a little, pretty long, because we're gonna drop it into a jar and you need to be able to hold the tip of it outside of the jar. So probably at least longer than what, two hands? Two? Uh, about less than my hand. Okay, that's pretty, there you go. That is how big it needs to be, at least Braylon's hand. Okay. Um. What you are going to need are the following items. Braylon, can you show us? Okay. We have our palm leaves or whatever you grabbed if you didn't have one. Some salt. Mm -hmm. Does it matter? Does nope. Matter? Does not matter what type of salt. Does not matter. Um a clip to like hold your thing on, but we cannot fit ours, so we're attaching it to something. <laughs> a clear jar to see it. Okay. And water. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. Are you ready? You are going to heat the jar of water into the uh, microwave is what we're going to use because our stove is being cleaned. I don't have any burners on it right now. They're in the dishwasher. Um, so we're going to heat our water in the microwave for three to four minutes. We want it to get boiling, um, which is why you're going to need your parent because do not pick up the water from the microwave. It's going to be hot. It's going to scald you. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do this thing, shall we? Okay, so water in the microwave. Three, four minutes. So put it up four. All right, we're zapping it. It's in the microwave. Are we ready to wait? Yes. Do, 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 do. Tell us about when water boils. Water boils at 212 degrees. So then we have to make sure that when it stays in the microwave until it is 212 degrees. Yes. All right. So let's take a look and see what's happening. No, nope. nothing. Nothing's happening. Oh. Okay. So we have gotten our great big jar of water, boiling water out. And Braylon is just going to pour some salt in, but she needs to be stirring at the same time. She's oh, I do pouring my entire container of salt into the jar. You probably don't need that much salt. <laughs> just like a cup or two. Really, just a cup. But I will say, the more salt you have, the more successful you can be at it. You're gonna stir. You're gonna stir your water till you completely dissolve the salt. Okay, it's completely dissolved, so take your spoon out. You're going to paper, you're gonna take some palm branches that you've pulled from your palm. You're gonna snap them into one of like a little clip, like a clothespin, and you're gonna dip all of that into the jar of water. Remember, it is hot, so please be careful. Dip it down in there. You're going to have to let your palm leaves sit in that water three to four days. You're gonna to have to let the salt stick and crystallize to your palm leaves. Just like Jesus, when Jesus rode into Jerusalem, he took every ounce of awfulness that the people could give him and he still gave us grace. And so after we wait three to four days, we are going to hopefully, if the experiment works correctly, have beautifully preserved 
palm leaves to remember that Jesus came into Jerusalem and we, we were excited about it only to turn on him. But that didn't matter. He still gave us tons of grace. And because of him, we have a key into heaven. Right, Braylon? Okay. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, be sure that you <laughs> be sure that you check your emails and um, get all of the Holy Week assignments that we have Monday through Saturday night. There is a big one called the Resurrection Cookies on Saturday, which if you don't get a chance to do any of the other ones, that is a must do. Um, but there's fun things like making perfume and making unleavened bread and um, all kind of different fun activities to get us in the spirit of celebrating that Christ is alive, that Christ has risen, and Christ will come again. So, happy Holy Week. Thank you.